disease was first discovered in the United Kingdom in 1986. Mad cow disease scientific name is bovine spongy form encephalopathy. BSC peaked in 1993 with a thousand cows being uncovered every week in the United Kingdom. By 2007, 184,500 had been affected in that region alone. BSC is a brain disease found in cattle. It's commonly known as mad cow disease because it makes the infected cows act crazy. The incubation period for BSC can be anywhere from months to years. There's no specific time period. Change in behavior, gradual uncoordinated movements, trouble standing and walking, weight loss with a normal appetite, and decrease in milk production. The symptoms are brought on randomly, which is where the common name mad cow disease comes from. Once symptoms start, it is only downhill from there. Scientists believe that prions are the recognized agent for causing BSC. Prions are the infectious protein particles without any nucleic acid. The name prion came from the scientist who discovered them, Stanley Prusner. Prions are a sequence of amino acids called PRP. Normally, PRP folds into a functional form with several A helices called cellular PRP. The prion protein is able to fold into beta pleated sheets. This is when the prions become infectious. The normal function of prion protein is not well understood, but it is assumed to be important in normal synaptic development and function along with stabilizing the structure of synapses and in establishing memory. Prions do not reproduce like bacteria or viruses. Instead, the infectious prions have the ability to force or convert non-infectious prions by folding them into beta pleated sheets. Thus, the infection prions take over more by conversion than reproduction. Instead of working like they're supposed to, the molecules clump together in the nervous system tissue, along the spinal column, and in the nerve ending. This forms holes in the brain and causes the brain tissue to look like sponge under a microscope, hence the name bovine spongiform encephalopathy. It is believed that cows got the infectious prion disease from feed that contained diseased parts of dead sheep and sometimes other cows. Scrapie is another type of disease caused by prions that occurs in sheep. They have similar symptoms as the cows, except that they will itch or scrape all of their fur off. It is believed this is how cows contracted BSE because these infected sheep were put into the cow's feed, therefore transferring the disease to the cows. Another disease caused by prions is Kuru. This disease first appeared in the early 1900s in New Guinea. It is very similar to CJD. The people of New Guinea practiced rituals involving cannibalism. The ritual consisted of the consumption of the brains of a deceased loved one and it is believed that this is how they contracted Kuru. It rose to an all-time high in the 1960s, killing about 1,100 people in one year. Fortunately, since then, the people of New Guinea stopped this ritual and the Kuru has disappeared. Chronic wasting disease is also a disease caused by the prion protein. It is found in a variety of deer, elk, and moose. The disease is progressive and always fatal. The most obvious signs of chronic wasting disease is weight loss over time. The disease is passed on to humans from contaminated beef. Humans cannot contract BSC from eating contaminated beef, but humans can contract a similar disease called new variant hutzfeldt jakob disease, CJD. There are several types of CJD. This disorder is very rare, occurring in about one out of a million people. They can appear any time between age 20 and 70, with average age and onset of symptoms in the late 50s. CJD can be grouped into classic or new variant disease. Classic is not related to mad cow disease. However, new variant CJD is an infectious disease form that is related to mad cow disease. The difference between classic CJD and new variant CJD is that classic is a widespread disease, which means it can be found worldwide. Classic can also be separated into two types.
Sporadic CJD makes up the majority of CJD cases. It occurs for no known reason and the average age is at onset 65. Familia CJD results when a person inherited the abnormal prion. This type of classic CJD is very rare. This picture shows a slide of brain tissue from a patient that had CJD. The tissue looks like sponge, similar to the brain tissue slide of a cow shown earlier. Unfortunately, both BSC and CJD are fatal diseases in both species. When symptoms occur, it is only a matter of time before the host dies. Like we mentioned before, BSC was mainly found in the United Kingdom and 23 years since the discovery of BSC, only three cases have been identified in the United States. One case of BSC was found in Washington State in 2003, one in Texas in 2005, and one in Alabama in 2006. In the first case, the infected body parts had been removed from the cow before the animal was sold for meat. In the second case, the cow was transported to a pet food plant before being tested for BSE. The last animal was euthanized and buried. There are many misconceptions about mad cow disease. Many people believe that you can contract mad cow disease or BSE. This is false. People cannot get mad cow disease, but they can get a certain strain of it known as CJD. Another misconception about BSE is that many people believe there is a very low risk of them getting CJD because there have only been about 160 reported cases. This is also false. Scientists aren't exactly sure how long the incubation period is for CJD and almost 200,000 cattle were infected with BSE in the United Kingdom. Some scientists have estimated that if the incubation period is longer that there could be as many as thousands of people infected with CJD who don't even know it. Are you safe from CJD if you don't eat beef that might contaminate brain or spinal cord? This fact is still unknown. Scientists really don't know enough about the disease yet to say if this is true or false. One of the major reasons that this is still unknown is the way the cows are butchered. They are sawed down the middle from head to tail and in the process their spinal cord and brain material that falls onto other parts of the carcass and could potentially contaminate whatever it touches. Avoid meat that might contain nervous system tissue. Choose beef from cows that have been grass-fed or eliminate meat altogether from your diet. The United States Department of Agriculture began forbidding farmers to use feed that included other animal parts. The USDA said cows too weak to stand at slaughter can no longer be sold as beef. Other preventions from the USDA include banning and restricting imports of cattle and cattle products, banning risky feed ingredients, testing and surveillance of cattle in the U.S. Bovine spongiform encephalopathy is a very serious disease. It is a brain disease that is caused by prion and it is contracted by the consumption of contaminated feed. There is no cure for BSC and there is no way to testing to see if the cow has BSC. People get CJD from BSC, which is very similar to BSC, and people can contract this disease from consuming contaminated beef. This disease has affected many people's lives and may continue to do so in the future. Luckily, there have been no major outbreaks since the 1980s in the United Kingdom. Since the incubation period is so vast, it could take decades before scientists know for sure how many people contracted CJD. Scientists are working hard to figure out everything they can about BSE and the prions that cause it, so just to be safe.